Hey y'all, B Bridges 100. Uh, hadn't really gone over this knife too much. I did an unboxing of it, not even know month months ago, but uh, got it from Lazy Lizard Gear. Uh, if you guys didn't see that video or haven't heard of that, go check out uh, S R Joben's channel. That's S R J O B E N. He uh. He actually deals in a few different uh, Chinese brands. This one is a B. It's called a BL05. I don't know if you can read it or not. BEE -E, right there. That's the BL05. Again, Lazy Lizard Gear from uh, SR Jobin. And, uh, you know, I've since gotten a couple knives. I've got this. I've got. Uh, a Sanrin Mu 710 from him, and uh, many many people are pretty familiar with the uh, Sanrin Mu. But uh, I actually just ordered another knife from him that should be coming to me here in the next few days. So I'll, I'll you know keep looking for that and I'll do an unboxing of it. It is a different brand. It's a, the sister company of B. It is an Inlon, and uh, that's a, that's all the information I'll give you right now because I'm going to do the unboxing and show you. So I'm pretty excited to get that and check that one out. But, uh, you know, I wanted to talk about this one here, I, the B. The construction of this and, uh, all, yeah, also off topic. Uh, I paid, I think, five or six bucks for this shipped. It was, uh, there was a little bit of an issue from the manufacturer. No problem at all for me just some of these body screws were stripped you know no big deal it's all pillar construction so I mean to clean it and everything I can just take a q-tip or what have you um, the only thing I really don't like and I don't carry this thing ever because of it <laughs> one one issue that I have is the pocket clip um, it's right side tip down carry only, which I don't mind too much generally. The only reason I don't care for this one is just the length of that pocket clip. It is just, it's not comfortable at all. It snags on everything when I wear it and I mean if it was just a little shorter, you know, I mean cut you probably cut an inch off this thing and it would be perfect for you know my carry how I, how I would like it but you can see I started to tap some holes down here I considered moving this to a tip up carry but then I thought about it and I was like you know what that's that's really not the problem the problem is the length of the pocket clip and it sucks too because it's such an excellent knife it really is great blade good grind on it uh, sharp as can be you know, I I really do. I love the I love the blade, but it's just kind of become a use around the house, and I like to flip it open. It's real comfortable. I think it's got the. Let me check. Yeah, it's got the uh, Teflon washers in it, so it's not like a real fast. Well, it's still pretty fast. It just doesn't have that. Uh, you know, the phosphor bronze that makes it fly out. But man, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. And uh, I do use it, well, not, like I said, around the house. I mean, I open my mail with it and all that stuff. And I never show it so, and or talk about it. So I figured, you know what, I do use it quite often. Just don't carry it. But uh, anyhow, just, uh, just kind of a little ramble. I'm uh, running a little short on things to make videos about. <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to make any more you know any new purchases or anything like that uh, like I said I do have one blade coming in the next few days <clears throat> hopefully I'll have it I'm hoping by Thursday I'll have it so uh, as soon as I do get it I'll turn the camera on and unbox it for you guys and uh, yeah so anyway sorry I'm just kinda thinking of more to say there's not a whole whole lot to say but uh, 
You know, I do like it. The thumb studs are actually really nice on this. The, they're ambidextrous thumb studs. So, I mean, you can use right, right or left hand. Of course, you can only carry right hand, tip down only. But it's still nice to have the option for opening if you are a lefty. You know, liner lock. Lock up on it is, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's late. It's mid to late. I'd put that in the, uh, in the late afternoon if we were doing it like clock style. <laughs> Not quite late in the evening, but definitely a little late in the afternoon there on the lockup. But it locks up nice and solid. I mean, there's not a not even a tinge. I can't even force that thing to flex or anything. Those Teflon washers, I find, do a really good job keeping the keeping the blade stable. I really enjoy Teflon personally. It, if I had to choose between that and uh, the Phosphor Bronze, I personally like the Teflon. I like the smoothness it provides, and I find that the knives that use them, I mean, they flick out perfectly fast. I mean, I don't need, I don't need the thing to fly open like an automatic or anything like that. So, and an excellent, excellent example would be my latest purchase that. You know, that I have was the Spyderco Super Leaf. Showed this to you guys a few times. I absolutely love this knife. And you see how fast it flies out. And then to close it, it closes smoothly. And it's on Teflon washers as well, which you can't really see them because my camera's terrible. It doesn't have auto focus, doesn't have manual focus. I can't focus it at all. So I apologize. Uh, funds are a little low right now. So haven't been able to purchase any knives or a better camera or anything like that. So I, anyway, enough belly aching. I just wanted to uh, show this knife off a little bit. You know, my likes and dislikes. Uh, one thing I really like, the G10. I mean, it's 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 pretty aggressive. It's not so aggressive that it hurts you or creates hot spots. In fact, there's no hot spot at all. This thing's so ergonomic. It's absolutely perfect. It didn't have jimping. I kind of cut my own into it. Did a pretty poor job of it, but it was the first time I ever tried it. So, a little Dremel tool, cut some jimping in it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's such a shame that that pocket clip is terrible. Uh, but, like I said, the G10, super, I, I would say super aggressive. It's more aggressive than any of my spider codes or anything like that so pretty 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 strong G10 on it uh, anyway that's pretty much it guys I think that's all I have to say if I didn't mention it it's you know 8CR 13 MOV steel which uh, most of my blades are I personally like it it holds up well enough for me and uh, it gives me something to do because you know they dull pretty quick or might roll on you a little bit if you're doing heavy cutting and it gives me a little task to do at night sharpen knives and really relaxing for me but anyway just thought I'd show it off the BL05 again if you're interested in purchasing anything like that if you don't mind a long pocket clip like this I mean it's perfectly strong the, the tension on it is excellent that part of it is perfect but the length of it, you can see it's, I mean, it's like nine-tenths the length of the handle, you know. So, if you don't mind that, excellent blade to purchase. I, I would highly recommend it. I mean, if you want something just to carry around your house, uh, I mean, you can take the pocket clip off. It's all uh, Torx. I think these are T6 screws. You know, use a T6 size Torx bit. Take it off keep it around the house I mean or you can slide it in your pocket without a clip you know if that's your preference but anyway alright guys I'll be back when I get my uh, my in lawn and if I have anything in between now and then I'll come back and let you guys know thanks for watching y'all Till next time y'all take it easy